Hello everyone, Axel here again and today uh, this will be the tutorial video on how you could make uh, this smooth movement system. So as you can see, uh, it smoothly transitions from uh, a walking animation like so into a running animation and not only that uh, I forgot to actually uh, show this in the on the in the uh, showcase video that I did yesterday. Uh, is that it's actually dynamic, and what I mean by that is it's uh, reliant on your it relies on your walk speed. So right now, um, when our walk speed is set to like twenty or like yeah greater than twenty. Uh, our animation uh, smoothly switches from walking to this running okay so yeah let's get started all right so firstly what you want to do is go into starter player starter character scripts insert in an empty local script paste this script in so you guys probably already noticed that uh, this is using keyframe sequence player uh, version 2 since uh, it uh, uh, it has these conflicts and whatnot, but uh, we're not gonna be caring about that today. And instead, we're gonna be caring about this. So right here, uh, currently, I have set the uh, I guess walk speed number that we need to uh, I guess reach before we could start um running here so in our case when our walk speed is set to 20 uh we're gonna start running we can of course also set this to zero if we want to like i guess instantly run or whatnot we could also set it to like a bigger number like 32 for example but for now uh i'm just gonna set it to 20. all right next so uh let's go to server script service insert in an empty uh, script and paste this script in so this one uh, you guys uh, probably already know where this is this is also keyframe sequence player 2 and yeah this is just for server-sided stuff all right next is uh, going to replicated storage insert in a remote event and call it play animation all right after that uh we can start importing our animation so to do that uh just go ahead make a folder called animations and this is where we're gonna put all our keyframe sequences so if you don't know how to make uh animations yet uh, all you have to do is click the uh click the toolbox button go here on the tab here insert in a rig it doesn't matter which rig you're using but for now we're gonna be using an r6 rig go on the tab again click animation light and as you can see uh, it allows you to uh, select rig so in my case I'm just gonna click uh, my own rig and yeah you can start animating stuff here and whatnot you can also uh, save stuff here so in my case I already have animations here but as an example we're gonna add a new one and call it test oh wait hold on test just like so and also disable this and click save and after that uh, go into replic uh, server storage right here inside of rbx anim saves and there's your animation but uh, luckily I already made some animations here after you've made your keyframe sequences just go back into replicated storage and just put them in inside of the animations folder that you have and yeah these are all the animations we're gonna be using if you playtest this it should work so you may uh, have to wait a bit and yeah look at that we're gonna start idling and yeah look at that we're gonna start walking and yeah look at that it works but you might have noticed that hey wait a second our um, animation here it stays 
uh, using uh, this walking animation so to actually use the running animation what we can do is set our like walk speed to like for example since in our case here uh, we need our walk speed to be greater than 20 so I'm just gonna set my uh, my walk speed to 25 or something like that right, so I'm just gonna set my walk speed to 25 as an example alright so as you've noticed in the uh, previous playtest our character was just simply walking but like I said since this is dynamic or essentially it relies on our players walk speed since we've increased our uh, walk speed now to 25 as you can see our running here or actually our animation here is now using the run animation instead of the walk and now what we can do here is like for example have this script right here which uh, slowly uh, accelerates our player from uh, this minimum speed of 12 to a max speed of 40 so essentially uh, our player will start off at like uh, barely any walk speed then it's gonna gradually go up so uh, what this should do is we're gonna like I guess start walking but then so on as uh, time goes uh, we're gonna start uh, I guess going a little bit faster and faster and faster until we finally start running all right so as you can see we're gonna start walking first of course and then it's gonna gradually go up and up and up and yeah look at that we're running now so uh, yeah that's all for this of course so uh, yeah bye bye